What is it about space that, that draws um, you to it? What, what is it that fires you up about it? If we take it sort of deep, deep down yeah. inside me, really, I'm, I'm very keen to learn. You know, yeah. I've always been curious. Mm -hmm. You know, as a human being, I'm very curious about life. Yeah. What's going on out there? What's happening? I want to learn. And now I've done that both in my formal education, I've yeah. done four master degrees, which yeah. some might argue is a bit excessive wow. <laughs> so, fair enough <laughs> but that's me I, I love learning but I've also done it sort of out there in the University of Life traveling to up to date 72 countries right I've lived with the Indians in the Amazon I've been skiing at 5,500 meters uh, which is the highest skiing station in the world officially yeah. if you like traveled Africa thin and thick I've been diving with sharks in Fiji and like you correctly said, in 2008, uh, set a world record by doing the first, doing the first tandem skydive about yeah. Mount Everest. Irrespective of what you do, it's all about learning. It's all about pushing the frontier further out. And that's what we're all about as human beings. That excites <laughs> me, that drives me. And, and ultimately, that is also what is going to take me to space. Yeah, and, and you're intending on going into space um, with Sir Richard. Um, do we have any uh, timeline on that yet? You never get an official timeline yeah. out of it, but uh, we are uh, we have conducted the the new first test flight okay. uh, with a new rocket, yeah, and that will continue throughout the rest of this year okay. and also next year. And once the full profile is finished, yeah. test profile is finished, then uh, we get the official stamp from the FAA. Then is, then we're good to go. What does the family think about all of this? <laughs> well, Are there ever times where you sort of sit around the table and they all go, oh my God, like, you know? <laughs> The family has uh, different views on it. I think fundamentally they are very excited about it. Yeah. Um, but there's also some reservations, particularly when it comes to the poten potential safety profile, because yeah. they're yeah. not as closely connected to it. They look at it, uh, but you know, we, we kind of want to keep here. It's, uh, yeah. it's good, you know, let's, 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 let's be safe. So the closer people are to me in terms of friends and family, yeah. the more obviously they care about the safety yes. profile. Uh, I wouldn't do it if I didn't feel safe. Yeah. I think the safety profile is probably akin to the early days of aviation. Uh, right. i.e. Re very reasonable, very yeah. respectful, um, but certainly higher than flying a Boeing 747, for sure. Of course. For sure. But it is justified by the mission, by going into space, by going to a place where less than 600 people have ever been in the history of mankind. We're talking about the frontier of a completely new era, where yeah. we as human beings are now, you and I, are now we're getting out there. We're yeah. we're expanding this this range where human beings have ever travelled between thousand meters down in the sea, i.e., where submarines are, and ten thousand meters up the, in the air where, where airplanes are flying. Yeah. That's sort of how we. That, that's where we roll as human yeah. beings. We're now changing that. Yeah. We're breaking that boundary, and that's what I found really fascinating and exciting.